Welcome to etvfutures.com. Today is Monday, November 5th. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your Commodities Open. Crude oil fell more than $2 a barrel in New York after Kurdish fighters freed eight Turkish soldiers, reducing the likelihood Turkey will attack the bases in the north of Iraq, which is the holder of the world's third biggest crude reserves. Crude oil is trading at $94.60 per barrel on the NYMEX. Natural gas in New York declined because weather is forecasted to be warmer than normal, which reduces heating demand across most of the country. The mild weather comes as inventories are at a record level. Natural gas is trading at $8.16 per million British thermal units. Gold fell from the highest prices since 1980 after a gain in the value of the dollar against the euro reduced the appeal of the precious metal as an alternative investment. Gold is trading at $807.60 an ounce. Silver is trading at $14.595 an ounce. Today we're joined by Paul Burton from Alaron. He'll explain what's going on in this quiet yet volatile day in commodities trade. Good morning. This is Paul Britton with Alaron Trading out in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today's a, even though the markets are a little bit volatile, it's still a quiet day as far as news can, is, is concerned. Today we're seeing the energy markets pretty much lower across the board, which isn't so unusual based on last week's advances as well as the lack of well any type of news. However, one thing that did catch our attention today is that many in the, you know oil industry insiders are are being quoted as blaming the uh, sell-off, which was as much as a dollar and a half earlier today, uh, blaming the sell-off on the fact that the stock market's been weak. So in other words, crude oil is being sensitive to the stock market, which is unusual. It's kind of backwards. We're currently showing the energy markets uh, still down across the board. Uh, crude oil down, December crude oil is at 